Hey, this is Professor Twining, and I'm out here with my marine biology lab in the rocky intertidal zone at Gun Rock Beach in Hull, Massachusetts. We're looking to see what organisms live in the rocky intertidal zone and how big that intertidal zone is in this particular location. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially at Gun Rock Beach. Today we're at the, obviously the rocky intertidal zone and you can see right out here that the tide's going out and we want to take advantage of that. And I'm going to just have us collect as many organisms as we can from the intertidal zone. We can get your field guides out and you can identify as many organisms as possible. Now make sure when you're looking at the seaweed, for example, that you're looking under it too. Because the organisms aren't necessarily going to be crawling around on top of the seaweed. They want to be moist and wet so they'll be underneath. Okay? Guys, you look over here at the rocks. You see where the rock changes color? Okay? That's roughly the high, high tide line. Grab some bowls, grab some white bins, and start searching for every species you can find. Well, my students are already starting to kill things. I'm sorry! Dunia no. killed a crab. It's, no, it's dead. <laughs> Deader than the dead doornail. All right. Come on, guys. You're... Let's get out here. Let's see what's going on. Woo! The rocky intertidal zone. This will make up for what Dunia killed. Oh. He is missing one, yeah. Yeah, but he was missing one from before. Okay, I can't say on camera yet what this crab is because everybody has to identify it. Female. Hi, Krabby. But it is a female crab. Yeah, Hers is wider, this is wider, so it's probably a female, yep. Oh, okay. Hi, probably. So Look at that claw. Not gonna okay, that claw's good for crushing things. It's missing this other claw, though. A beautiful little crab. Oh, this one's got the opposite claw, so at least we know what each claw looks like. Somebody get this yellow snail I'm looking at. Good job. Yep. Here's a good uh, shell for you guys to identify. All right, so in this rocky intertidal zone, we have a mixture of two different kinds of seaweed. This seaweed right here is uh, rockweed, Fucus vesiculosus, and you can see the pneumatocysts that are in the rockweed. These are to hold this frond of um, frond of the algae, the thallus, up in the water and keep it afloat. You can see really big uh, pneumatocysts or air floats on this Ascophyllum nodosum here. This is uh, knotted rackweed, and um, these pneumatocysts, again, are air bladders or air floats that keep the algae floating in the water during high tide, just like you can see right out here. These are photosynthesizers. They're primary producers. They are using the sun's energy and carbon dioxide and water to make sugar, uh, just like plants do. But these are not plants, they are algae, they are protists that live here in the rocky intertidal zone. Okay, so Kenya's got something to show me here. Oh, that's a good one. So it's not a crab. Oh, it's a crab, but it's a very different kind of crab. Something we definitely want to identify, okay? There are lots of these uh, common periwinkles on the rocks here, Litterina, Litteria. And there's another species here that's yellow. 
Here's a couple examples of it right here. These are grazers that graze on this algae. Uh, they're either eating the algae itself or they're scraping the bacterial slime off of the algae. Very, very numerous here in the rocky intertidal zone. You can see the young barnacles that are on this rock. These are probably Balanus balanoides, the uh, common rock barnacle. These are crustaceans. They live out here on the rocks and they come out and stick their cirri in the water to feed during high tide. And right now they're all closed up on the inside of the shell that they have uh, waiting for the high tide to come in. There's a couple of little hermit crabs in this little tide pool here. There's one coming right underneath here. We're finding some really cool stuff. Some fish, some shrimp, some crabs, lots of mollusks. We're gonna have a, quite a job today identifying all these things that we're finding. But it's exciting. I don't wanna lose this guy. Well, I'm too busy filming. This is gonna need water. Okay. Ooh. Is that a fish? No. That's really an important species. I'm, I'm really glad you found that. Yes, this is actually an edible algae. So I just looked out at the water just a minute ago and I saw all these fish jumping out of the water. I'm pretty sure they were blue fish and I'm pretty sure they were following some of the small bait fish that were coming in toward the shore. They were jumping everywhere and then of course the seagulls swooped in and started catching some of the fish as well. So that was quite an exciting thing to see. Fine, huh? Look at you! Look at me! <laughs> Never ever seen one of those here. You can see a lot more if you just stand there and stare at the water. Hey, that's exactly around. right. You need yeah, to... Yeah, just yep. staring, staring and then I saw the little guy wiggle and I was like, oh, is that a fish? And I slowly nice. got him. I was like, I hope you're not poisonous because I scooped him with my hand. <laughs> You did? You got a fish? Yeah. Well, you didn't show it to me. These guys are supposed to show me everything. You know, I can't rely on my armor bearer over there to show me everything he's got. He's coming now, just kidding. This might be the best day on the Rocky Intertidal Zone yet. What you got there? That's not a fish. Right here. That's not a fish. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. Yes. Got a nice little shrimp in there. <laughs> if the crab doesn't eat it. Right? Hey, I like that effort. Now this mollusk right here is called uh, Crepidula fornicata. Uh, it's a slipper shell. Normally you find them stacked up on top of each other and then the bottom one is the uh, female and the ones on top are the males. And strange things happen. If the one on the bottom dies, the next one up becomes the female and they continue. I haven't seen any stacked up here today, but this is definitely a slipper shell here, Crepidula fornicata. Oh, there's another green crab. Look at that. I found it. Bad boy. I can't pick it up though, but I found it. I'm going to put it next to it. I want to see it. No. So the green crab would eat. I'm going to suggest that you guys go ahead on up and start helping uh, helping identify all these things, okay? Oh, I'm sure proud of these students. They're doing a great job out here today. They've been finding quite a bit of stuff as they search in the intertidal zone. Found a couple of interesting fish that we're gonna have to identify and some shrimp. Those fish are really something. They look like little lump fish or almost like a puffer fish. Uh, I'm not sure that I've ever seen one of those here in the Rocky Intertidal Zone before. So we'll see. We'll see what they, what they turn out to be. Well, we're on our way back to Yancey. Finished our work at the Rocky Intertidal Zone for today. 
and uh, gonna make sure we all have all the species in our journals and then we will adjourn for the day. Thanks for joining us on this expedition. <laughs>